right now let's put us back on track for real and talk about the race um lando won yeah lando freaking won i'm so excited i started to get like you know goosebumps and chilies and i got you know just watching everyone congratulate him and having him swan dive like into the crowd i loved it it was it really goes to show how you know loved he is on track by drivers and everybody else congratulating him saying how great he was doing seeing alonzo come up to him who is like you know kind of has worked in a pseudo you know mentor ish position for him being with mclaren for years and everything like that um that was really cute to see seeing danny come up and give him a big hug and and you Carlos know, went all the way Carlos. out to the grid to congratulate him that yeah. they, they're the best of friends. Yeah. yeah I, I thought really that was cute. really great. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I think that, you know, one thing that, that Adam and I were talking about and my dad also texted me about was that I don't think there's ever been a point in the history of formula one where the drivers on the grid have all actually been friends to the point that we are at now, because you have the friendship between Carlos and Lando, you have the friendship between um, the 2019 rookie class with George and Alex, you have, you know, Lando's friendship with Max, you know, there, you know, obviously, we have the Max and Lewis rivalry and the, you know, Alonzo Lewis rivalry, and, you know, the animosity between Akon and Gasly, and, you know, things like that. And you have the bromance between Sonoda and Gasly. So there's, I, I really don't know if there has ever been a point in the history of the sport where people have just been so happy for each other's success to, to the point that these drivers are, where even Max, who was not happy that he didn't win, was happy for Lando. Right. He said, if, you know, on a bad day, if you're getting sec- like second, I call it a good day, especially with Lando winning. Like, I'm so happy for him. So I think it's really cool. I also love how you're like, everyone's friends, except for this and this and this and this. This and this. <laughs> But no, it seems like everyone is more friendly than maybe in the past and just everyone is, you know, building each other up, which is kind of, you know, always fun and cool to see. But, um, but yeah, no, Lando finally got his first win after 110 so happy. races. I know. So happy. I'm sure his mom also just loved the fact that he won his first race and he has like this bandage from this, a drinking yeah. related incident. <laughs> Yeah, he, <laughs> Adam said moment. the same thing. He will always remember this race as being the weekend following. The other funny part is Lando bought this injury celebrating a holiday in Max's home country yep. in the Netherlands. Um, and he will always remember that he had a remnant from King's Day on his nose while celebrating his first Formula One win. God bless him. God it's amazing. bless Lando. I love it. Yeah. <sighs> man so okay let's go through these records here for a second so it was his first win in 110 races and at the very beginning of the season we said he you know was up there in number of races without a win um so number of podiums without a win number of thank you number of podiums without a win so he has eclipsed that and it took him 110 races for his first win which you might think is a long time but if you think about like when he's been on track it was in like lewis's heyday and uh, and then max took over so you know Think of it that way. 110 is not bad. He's the first driver to have their maiden win in the U.S. since 1982. Um, So it's been a really long time since a uh, driver got their first win in the U.S. He's the 21st British driver to win. um, And he's also the 114th F1 race winner. So lots of big things happening for Lando this weekend. I'm very happy for him. Yeah, it was it was really exciting to to see that uh, we we heard "God Save the King" um, as the anthem this time. Which the last time we heard the British national anthem, it was "God Save the Queen." Uh, so it's yes. been a minute, um, but yeah, it was it was really a long time coming. Um, and just to you know have this finally happen for Lando, who is a driver that is on the grid with so much expectation for a world championship, um, and to finally you know see him get this win, especially after you know the likes of you know Russia. 2021, which is, you know, one of the greatest specters of his career in a race that he, you know, would have and probably should have won had they not decided to gamble on keeping him on slicks when it started raining. Um, And then, you know, Lewis won a race again. So it it really is, um, you know, long time coming. And, you know, even if you're not necessarily a Landon Norris or McLaren fan, you, everyone's happy for 